Hello and welcome to this 60-second subject, the demise of Sacagawea. In 1804, a party of men led by Meriwether Lewis and William Clark set out to explore the North American West. They were accompanied by one woman, a Shoshone native named Sacagawea. She played a key role in the sometimes arduous trek across the unexplored wilds, but she was far more than just their guide. Having been kidnapped by the Hidatsa tribe and held for years, long enough that she mastered their language, she was sold to a French-Canadian trader named Toussaint Charbonneau, who took ownership of her and made her his wife. Charbonneau met Lewis and Clark at Fort Mandan, North Dakota, and he was slated to join them and bring along his wife, Sacagawea. She could translate the Hidatsa language for them and help them understand their ways. She had a deep knowledge of the natural environment, identifying roots, fruits, and plants that were safe to eat. Although she was not paid a single cent for aiding their expedition, Clark felt obligated to compensate her somehow, so he paid for her son Jean-Baptiste's education. Most researchers accept that she most likely died in 1812 of typhus at the age of 24 at Fort Manuel, shortly after the birth of her second child, Lizette.